What to do, what to do, stop boy D, blockchain finance and value. And today we're going to have another breakdown of a project that caught my eye. Um, it's coming up in May, um, so it's quite far away. Uh, we're only on April, you know, I'm looking forward to the Age of Invaders Mint in a few days. Um, but this is Pets R Us. And as you can see, guys, the art is graffiti art. It reminds me kind of Teddy Troops. And that was one of the first projects, or it's actually the first project I'm into on the Cardano network, and I 10x my money on it. So this is on the 21st of May. It's going to be 80 ADA, and there is um, 5,555 of the supply. And we're going to give them a quick break now. <coughs> yeah, sorry, guys, your boy in a coughing fit, not being well, as you know. So... I'm going to jump on the Twitter. Um, so they've got 731 followers and 68 following. Not followed by anyone um, that I know that, that I follow yet. So like DZ, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, I'll give them a follow right now because I do believe in the art of this project. Um, let's have a quick engagements. So the engagements aren't wild, <coughs> as you can see. <coughs> but they are um they are there i'm going to get into some of this art as you can see i like this graffiti style art i don't know there's just something about it like nfts are all about art and there's not there's not much of this sort of graffiti art in the cardano space like the only ones that really did it was teddy troops and teddy troops did it really well um as i say 10x my money i wish i'd have held on to mine <sighs> like the floor for them, I think, was 90 ADA. Um, and I, th I believe it's just because when it comes to graffiti art, you, I don't think you need an eye for a certain art or an eye for abstract art because it just catches the eye. It's just good. It just looks good. Do you know what I mean? Like, like there's certain art out there, like where you'll see a white canvas, a red circle, and a square. I just go for 10 million. And you sat there like, well, why? Oh, well, the brush strokes and all that foolishness. You don't need that with this, with, with graffiti art. Do you know what I mean? And that's what I like about it. So we're getting just some sneak, sneak peeks. No, oh, the art looks clean, crisp. Like, I think it's something you should definitely have a look at, guys. Maybe something I'm looking to mint. That will have another look at some more sneak peeks. Now, oh, look, the art is off the chain. Crazy ideas, <coughs> but the art is really off the chain. I noticed the artist does kind of do this signature scribble over his artwork. I wish he wouldn't do that because it can just make you look a bit of a mess. As you can see there, look. So I kind of wish. That scribble wasn't there for a lot of it. Like all this sort of marking sort of stuff. But yeah, as you can see, the, the art looks great. So we're just going to get into the roadmap. So let's get into this roadmap, people. Okay, so you've got the project art and the concept. Uh, reveal art and open Discord, Twitter, Instagram, public. Team building at 100%. Introducing the team in progress. So we do know who some of the team are. All right, this is the artist who's got his own page. <coughs> oh, sorry about this, guys. I really am. So this is the actual artist. You can go on here. Have a look at some of the things he's done. He's obviously, he obviously likes Prodi Cat Society. Boom. This is exactly what I was talking about, Teddy Troops. So he's obviously a fan of Teddy Troops as well. Yo, I just got my Teddy Troops, 13th of March. Like, can't go wrong. I'd like to see these guys do some sort of collaboration. I think it'd be wicked. <coughs> oh, well. <coughs> um, so the website development in progress, yeah, because that's just, that's that's all you've got there at the moment. Partnerships, collaboration with other communities, introduce whitelist requirements in progress, 
marketing strategies, animated trailer, host spaces on Twitter with special guests pending, holder benefits, organize Discord events with CNFT community members in progress. So holder benefits. So if holding one of these, you're gonna get a one of one NFT Reboys Pates award in your city. <laughs> Uh, exclusive NFT drops available only to holders. Now, I'm going to say I doubt that's going to happen for me because I'm in UK. 10% of the mint revenue will go back to holders and giveaways. Cool. 5% of the mint donated to animal rescue shelters. You know what I think about that. Why? Not You know what I mean? So that means 5% of the mint you don't need. I'll, I'll keep saying it. Um, stop giving people's money away to places where you think it needs to go. Give your own money away because I don't think that's a good thing to do. Hundreds of NFT airdrops to holders for the first collection. 100 animated NFTs for holders. 500 stickers, rainbow on a graphic. 100 print sizes. 100 print size, 11 times 17 of your NFT photo paper glossy. And five large scale HQ prints of your favorite Pets RS NFTs. So, this project's looking decent, guys. I mean, if we look here, they've got uh, 1,024 1, members online. There's only 136 at the minute, but it is early in the morning. Crack of dawn, and now I'm yawning. So, we can have a look at who we are. Well, yeah, we can't, because that's coming soon as well. So, yeah, there's not a huge, <laughs> a huge... Huge amount of information, but they have got a long time. You know, and I'm going to be in the Discord trying to find more information um, about this project. And because, like I say, I do like the graffiti. And I remember when I saw Teddy Troops, I was like, oh, should I make a video of this? But, you know, nobody had made a video. And I was like, oh, is there going to be any point? Because, you know, is it even going to take off? Next minute, boom, I tell next my buddy on it. Um, so, you know, with this sort of art, I believe there's always going to be somebody that wants it, somebody that likes graffiti art, especially if the artist has got a following as well. Um, I can't really see this doing bad. The only thing I think about it, if I'm being honest, I think the price to mint is a little bit too much. So I may try and cut one on the secondary market if the price drops, um, which I think it will. Um, to be fair, 88, uh, yeah, 88, 88, that just seems a little bit too high. Um, but the project itself, would I mind paying 88 for the art? No, no, I wouldn't at all. Because I like that art. Um, it's dope. So it's just something to, you know, something I'm definitely going to keep my eye out on. Uh, yeah, so that's, yeah, yeah, Pets Art. Oh, sorry, guys. So that's Pets Art NFT. Sorry, guys, you've already been sick. I had a coffee fit. <laughs> Like and subscribe. I was ill, still trying to bring in this content, you know, on a daily basis. We're trying, we're trying. So please like, please subscribe. Keep your eyes out for this one because I say I, I do think it's it's, it's going to do well. Um, I may mint it, but like I say the price for me is just a little bit on the on the eye side. But if it all goes left, it's only the art that's left. And do I like this art? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, the detail. Right, there's a video on their Twitter. That you can watch as well where the graffiti artist is just painting a um is spray painting a wall where with a graffiti so it's, it's, it's in fact <coughs> in fact you, you guys can go watch it just click the picture on twitter and keep going until you see it but yeah like and subscribe people and their peace